Okay, we have Magic Hours Enterprise, Kirk. We pulled a section for his bubble. It's right here in the middle, but we're not going to pull the bubble yet because then it'll get all messed up during the spray up. This is not the only way to spray up. It's not the best way to spray up. This is just the way I spray up. We're going to have him stand up for us. This is easier to do with standard standing up. Come on, baby boy, stand up. Nice boy. Got my nice big comb here. My Kenra hairspray, because that's my favorite to use. What? Come here, baby. Step forward. Well, what you want to do is hold this hair out of the way. You want to comb each section into the fan shape that you will actually want in the spray up. I like to start here in the middle versus starting at the front because it helps me keep the shape proper. We'll keep his eyes covered up, which holding that little front section of hair helps do that too. Give it a little mist of hairspray. Make sure it's standing up. And can you step to the side to show what I'm doing here? Please. I'm going to separate this into really, really thin sections here. In each section you want to look like a fan. It's pretty much standing up. Uh -huh. Give it a fine mist. Ah. Well, yeah, you were so good last time. Yeah, you're okay. Stop. Hey, hey, stop, 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 stop. Okay. I'm gonna do a nice, another thin layer. Give it a mist, and it's wanting to fall down. So I'm gonna stand it back up. side. You want to make sure the biggest mistake I think most of us beginners make is we don't comb all the way down to the skin. So we end up spraying just the very top of the hair. You don't want to do that. You want to brush all the way down to the skin and make sure you put plenty of hairspray at that section. Got it into a nice fan. You spray more hairspray into the base of coat than you do the top. Now if I was showing, I would be using more hairspray, but this is just a little demonstration. It doesn't need to hold up real long, so I'm just putting a little in there to hold it long enough for you to get the idea. Brush it up into a fan. Anything that's not properly part of my fan, brush back the other way. Get it some hairspray. Do the next little section. It's important to try to keep your dog's head up in the position that you want it when you're showing. That's why I don't have him laying down. A lot of times when you let him lay down, you end up with a crooked, hair, a crooked spray up. Into the base, lighter up top. This section doesn't look like I quite got it tangled out as well, or untangled as well. Get that little section up there in its nice little fan shape. I'm going to try to keep the thickness pretty even, too. I know, sister. It's okay. Give that some spray. Check to make sure he's looking okay. Spraying back up. He's wanting to lean on me. and He's getting heavy. Oh, baby. I don't know. He's wanting to get crooked, which is my fault, not his. I'm off on one side of him. Make sure I keep that fan shape straight. There we go. Get that back out of the way because it's not adding to my shape. That was. There we go. I should add that the rest of him also need a room and he needs a bath. It's the best time to practice. When you know they need a bath, that way you can stick them right in the tub afterwards. There we go. Start really making sure I'm keeping his head up and watching what I'm doing. We're going to put the spray up that slants completely forward on him. You don't want to push it in too tight because you want it to eventually create a nice arc up here.
Let's finish section of that.